Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to quickly and effectively navigate your timeline using the keyboard only. So we're all familiar with using the mouse to sort of go across, clicking the space bar maybe to play and to stop, and then clicking, you know, sort of different buttons up here. However, you can do a lot of stuff just from the keyboard and you can do it really, really effectively and actually have a little bit of an additional sort of ability to scrub through your timeline really fast to find things like flaws or to just see how it all goes together. If we go up here to file and then, or actually into edit and down to keyboard shortcuts, you'll notice here on the J, K and L, what we have is we have the shuttle stop, the shuttle right and the shuttle left button. We hold shift, we have the play around, the shuttle right slow and then the shuttle slow left. So what these are is what is known as a shuttle. In video terms, this is, or it used to be a big knob on like a beta tape deck. And what it would do is whenever you had your tapes, you'd put them on this. And when you were editing, you could scrub through it physically. Uh, it had a weight to it. So if you turn to the right and to the left, you could scrub quickly forward, quickly backwards. Overall though, it was a physical way to scrub back when editing used to be a physical sort of thing. And even when computers were sort of involved, but not really involved, you used to have to use this. So what we have is the ability to use this in Premiere Pro with these keyboard shortcuts here. So if we click on the K button, we can actually sort of stop any playback and you'll see that since it's already stopped, it's not doing anything. However, if we click the L button, it's gonna play it at normal speed and you can notice, uh, watch this timeline sort of going the whole time as well as the video. You can notice it's playing at normal speed. If we click L again, it's gonna go two times speed three times speed if we click it one more time, and then of course, four times speed if we click it again, and it's gonna go faster and faster. Now, what's important is if you're right around three and four times speed, that you'll actually be able to hear the audio. And that's important, for example, if you did like a podcast or a really long video with audio, you can scrub through your timeline really fast to find those sounds. So we can like, for example, let's say that we knew around minute 30 that there was a problem. So we go, you know, maybe to 25 minutes and play it at about three times speed. That way it doesn't waste a lot of our time, but we can still listen to all of the audio to try to find that error. It also allows us to you know, just quickly sort of go through all of this and just to see how it all, it's all coming together and to sort of go through the timeline and then maybe find some spots that we want to look at again and again. So let's say that for example, right here, we wanted to take a closer look. We could stop it right here back it up a touch, click the play button, and then play it again. See this transition once more. We could play it in real time right here. And we're like, okay, yeah, that looks good. And we can you know, keep doing that through the timeline. Another useful thing here is that if we hold the shift key, which I showed you earlier, the slow button, if we hold the shift key and click L, look how slow it is playing here. It's playing frame by frame. And so we can sort of look at something frame by frame. Maybe we were like trying to spot something in there. Was this person's face actually shown? Something like that, you know? So we can play it really, really in slow motion here. And of course, if we hit the K key, it'll stop and we can use shift and then J to go backwards. And we will actually be able to go frame by frame backwards here. What you can also do is that you can use the K as a play around feature. So let's bring it back to the beginning right here and let's start moving through here. So we're moving through, we're moving through and suddenly we want, we see something that we you know want to say a different thing like right there, let's try that transition. If we hold shift and then click K, it'll actually bring us back a couple of seconds. And if we click it again, it'll bring us back to the normal thing. So we can go back and forth and it's uh, right now on a about a two second window but we can go back and forth and see this over and over again. And that's really important because a lot of times you wanna play the same thing over and over, see if the pacing is right, see if the feel is right. And you can do that with just holding shift K and then sort of just replaying the scene over and over and over again. One final tip on this is that by default, it's going to try to pitch shift the audio for you. So it's going to try to take the pitch of it and make it pretty much the same. However, sometimes you like it, uh, you can work better when the slow motion audio is really, really low and then the fast motion is really, really high pitched. So you can change that if you go over here in to edit, preferences, down to audio. And right here we have maintain pitch while shuttling right there. So what we can do is we can actually uncheck that and it's going to remove that uh, stipulation. So now it's going to just play the audio like it's being played. If, if you slow it down, it's gonna go really, really low. If you speed it up, it's gonna go really, really fast. For example, if we do this really slow here, you'll hear it, it sounds very slow motion. And now it sounds 
high pitched a little bit. Gets back to the normal sounds, and then you can make it go like even a little bit uh, crazy sounds in there. But that is the shuttle buttons. They're really great buttons to know so that you can navigate your timeline with just the keyboard. Uh, you could have your left hand ready to like create edits, your right hand ready to sort of shuttle back and forth, and you will be really, really fast and be able to navigate your timeline really fast. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and them in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. If you're seeing my videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.